بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم If you have a guest coming to visit us what do we do We usually prepare ourselves and probably tidy up the house and then choose the right clothes and then uh, this that and the other and look at the, the, the your hair your beard your this your that and okay we have a guest coming for sure inshallah ta'ala ramadan how do you prepare it's about tidying up as well our hearts and our intentions and making space for ramadan in our life because our life is being controlled and dominated by our businesses stuff this that and the other so it's all over the place no we should organize it tidy it up because ramadan is coming and should occupy the space and the, the time if we were to do these preparations on the day it would be a big chaos so what's the best thing then to do is to prepare beforehand and now is the right time a bit probably late But it's better than starting on the day in Ramadan. So the Prophet Sallallahu although the hadith is not very strong hadith, but nevertheless, he used to say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the beginning of Rajab, Allahumma barakana fi Rajab wa Shaaban wa Balighan Ramadan. Oh Allah, bless us in Rajab and Shaaban and bring us to Ramadan. So this form of preparation starts in Rajab. Now when we are in the midst of Shaaban also. So it's, it's the time then uh, to build the momentum And then in Ramadan, we'll start with full impact, full momentum, and then we'll maximize the benefit of Ramadan. If we were to start preparation in Ramadan, then towards the end, we might have or we might not have the momentum and the max maximization of the, uh, the blessed month. So let's start then now, uh, tidying up these things, our hearts, intentions, and then giving more time to recitation of the Qur'an, focus more in our Salah, the preparation for uh, more uh, control over ourselves. Inshallah, this will be a good, good start for Ramadan, inshallah.